is two seven twenty seven. The mic's up, yep. Um so animals that can kill themselves. Yay. Love it. Got it watching it. Nature has given animals some body parts so that they can defend themselves. Get yeah. food and look cool. But sometimes those same body oh, parts that can hurt, hurt an animal like so shit. badly that it can easily lose its life. How exactly? Be sure to watch this episode. Yeah, today. he's got some we dreads. He's rocking them. Mm. Baru Babarusa is one of the most unusual the creatures that? of our planet. It looks like a pig, but differs too much from its congeners. I've never seen small, that. Its back is arched, in my its life. legs are long enough, and it has almost no fur. These animals prefer plant food and clean water. But the main thing about Babarusa Ugh. is, of course, their fangs. In males, the lower and upper canines... Wait, 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 wait. Is it coming from where the circle is or where the other circle is? Because I don't know. I'm so confused grow throughout their life and bend toward the head. It's not uncommon for a fang to grow so much that it begins to grow into the skull, literally. Imagine your tooth bending upward and going up to your forehead. Yeah, that's uncomfortable. It's pleasant, and it's dangerous too. And deer pigs don't like that either. In fact, I think fangs block the view. Fortunately, apart from <clears throat> their strange shape, their fangs are fragile. More often than not, though, they break before they reach the skull. Oh, for example, God. during a fight for a female, or just from time, yeah. if you're lucky, of course. Unlike deer pigs, things are much sadder for common reindeer. <laughs> that got dumb. Their antlers are strong enough even to injure other animals. It's a real weapon that can really? very well cause the death of its wearer. Male deer fights are common. During the breeding season, they fight for females, and such battles often end in the death of one of their rivals. Oh. Most often, he just runs into another's antlers and... Maybe I also but blow. during the fierce fight, so the hapless males may also clutch the antlers so tightly that they can't deal with this situation by themselves. Oh. The end is very sad. The reindeer can't get up, can't eat are deprived of the possibility to drink and just slowly die. That sucks Nature can be shit. Ruthless. And if it takes place near the water, the reindeer can not only clash, but fall through the ice together, then freeze oh. also together. But sometimes oh. the animals are lucky and people notice their misery in time. It's enough to cut out a couple of antlers or shoot them off. Whoa, fella. Holy you know shit, it's a lucky shot. Good shot. What if you... What is this? I already have this game. I don't want to... Oh well, at least it ended okay. But while the reindeer can get trapped together by accident, things are much worse for Argali. Argali. These wild rams are considered the largest, can weigh over a hundred pounds, and look quite menacing. Especially if you look at their large, strong, corkscrew-shaped horns, which yeah, Argali they do. use to protect themselves from predators and to fight for females. However, despite their majestic appearance, the fate of these wild rams is sometimes tragic. The horns, which are meant to be a powerful weapon of self-defense, can lead the animal to a slow oh. and painful death. The older the Argali get, the more likely it is that their horns will begin to grow in the wrong direction yeah, and eventually pierce the rams' oh. faces, slowly and painfully. They will penetrate deeper and deeper until they result in death. Either from infection or... Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, Evolution is uh. a pretty ruthless thing. We should not thank it for such a trick with the poor ram's horns. However, human intervention too not always leads to something good. For centuries, people have been making okay. more profitable breeds for agriculture. And it ended up... Well, pretty controversial, especially when it comes to sheep. Wild sheep. species still lose most of their wool every year, so do some domestic sheep. sheep. But those that are bred for wool always regrow year-round without pause. And if you don't cut them in time, it can end very badly. Oh, that wool looks wool good. Is a bad option in very hot weather. Sometimes it leads to heat stress. Looks like there hippie. are also mobility issues. If a sheep with long wool lays down on a steep slope, it can't roll over from its back. It's like those bugs that lie with their legs up in the air. In addition, the wool causes vision problems. Not enough trouble? Excess wool, yeah, which isn't uh, cut, it's begins just to like pile shapes up and right goats. the animal, forming knots. All sorts of parasites thrive under these knots. Insects cause... It's shapes and goats that have the worst lives. Or deers. Okay. Shapes, goats, and deers. Anything with horns. Unrelated to goats. So, uh, yeah, something like that. Shit. Unbearable itching, which disturbs sheep and makes them constantly rub against trees, fences, and against everything that it comes across. In such cases, the sheep may tear its sides until they bleed, which is a oh. direct way to infection and sepsis. In extreme cases, mm. the sheep with too many wool. Whoa, may die. 21 so kilos. 
He'd be buff as shit. Fuck me. If I had to carry 21 kilos, I, I could carry 21 kilos. But I don't think a sheep could with their skinny bony legs.